Taliban leader Baradar's message after clash looked like hostage video. The vacuum at the top after clashes between factions led by Mullah Baradar and Khalil Haqqani earlier this month has allowed for arguments between the Taliban factions something which was not seen during their earlier rule two decades ago, UK-based magazine The Spectator reported. A power struggle within the Taliban has badly hurt two key players Deputy Prime Minister Mullah Baradar and the group's spiritual leader Haibatullah Akinzada UK-based magazine The Spectator reported on Monday. The clashes in early September saw furniture also as large thermos flasks filled with hot green thrown around, said the spectator. At one point during the meeting, Haqqani network leader Khalil Rahman Haqqani rose from his chair and commenced punching Baradar, the spectator report said. Baradar had pushed for an inclusive cabinet that included non-Taliban leaders and ethnic minorities, which might be more acceptable to the rest of the world. He disappeared for a short time after the clashes and resurfaced in Kandahar. He held a gathering of tribal leaders who are supporting him, but was also forced to release a video message on the state-run TV network controlled by the Taliban. The message looked sort of a hostage video, the spectator reported. On Akinzada, the publication reported that his whereabouts aren't known. He has not been seen or heard from for a few time, and there are many rumors that he's dead, reported the spectator. This vacuum at the highest has allowed for arguments between the Taliban factions, something which wasn't seen during their earlier rule 20 years ago, the report further said.